Out of the blue corner, this man is a mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record of seven wins with no losses. Standing six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of Edicott, New York, Johnny Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins with four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the American Psycho Stefan Bonner! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Mazzagatti. Steve Mazzagatti, our referee, the beautiful Edith, Ariani, and Logan, all in attendance here tonight. UFC 94, St. Pierre versus Penn 2. Johnny Bones Jones in the red trunks. Stefan Bonner started out from a Taekwondo background. He is a black belt in Taekwondo, and because of that, he has some excellent technique with his kicks. He's got great, like, spinning back kicks and roundhouse kicks as well as very good Muay Thai. And there you see what I was talking about with Jones. Jones has got a real unorthodox striking. Jones, the third youngest fighter in the UFC, now behind the two men we saw debut in Dublin, Tom Egan and John Hathaway. The Irish fighter and the British fighter. Quick, unorthodox, and truly wise beyond his years, Johnny Bones Jones, 7-0 in his mixed martial arts career. And what we saw with John Jones in his first fight is beautiful takedowns. He's got outstanding wrestling, great technique, great athleticism. And as a tall guy, he's, he's really good at using that leverage. Nice knee to the body. Two big 205 pounders. 6'4", 205 pounds each. There it is, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful takedown. And looking to tee off on Bonner. Man, a razor close decision goes the way of Forrest Griffin. And Steppens tried to just, you know, kind of keep pace with the ultimate fighter, the original ultimate fighter winner in the light heavyweight division. Bonner back up to his feet. Again. And another one. Man. What awesome use of the momentum there. Look out. Cannot knee a downed opponent. He waits nicely until he was up. Bonner pushes him away. Stefan Bonner switching stances. Bonner has trained with some of the best in the Muay Thai game. Duke Rufus, as you mentioned. Mark Delagrati, Team Sit Yo Tong in Boston, now Master Toddy. Very dangerous striker, the American psycho. Good leg kick. Keep him up, we just saw Stefan Bonner with uh, a spinning back kick. I was talking about alluding to his Taekwondo background. In this tie-up, this is where it's dangerous because John Jones has the, those beautiful throws and he, he takes them some, from some very unorthodox positions. Two losses to Forrest Griffin. One loss to Rashad Evans. Other than that, perfect. Inside the octagon is Bonner. Never been finished in the UFC. Don't grab that cage, John. Bonner trying to drag Jones to the ground, but unsuccessful. And look at this again, man. Bones Jones has some great moves, man. Wrestling, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, athletic, young. Suplex. Dynamic. A Greco-Roman All-American and a junior college national wrestling champion. We're seeing those skills being displayed by Jones. Especially the Greco-Roman skills like, oh, oh spinning back. That hurt oh, the leading practice. Bonner went down hard. Jones may have given him the split second to recover, but Bonner's not out of the woods yet. That was just a, one of those things that I talked about, wild, unpredictable strike by John Jones. 
Jones has almost isolated himself here in Vegas during this week. Just focusing on the opportunity that stands in front of him. The opportunity to really defeat one of the most popular fighters in the UFC still present day. He let Bonner back to his feet. Man, he rocked him with that spinning back fist. It's a big cut in the forehead of Stefan Bonner. It's bleeding all over his forehead that came from that. What I believe was an elbow. I think it was a spinning elbow. Boom. Jones very relaxed too, Joe. Nice knee by Jones. Final 10 seconds of the round. Look at how comfortable Jones looks. Dancing around. Taking a look at the clock. Caught a right. I mean, a great round for John Jones, and even greater when you consider the fact that he's fighting a guy with so much experience in the octagon. As you said, I mean, Stefan Bonner's fought Rashad Evans, Forrest Griffin, Keith Jardine, James Irvin. I mean, this is only John Jones' second fight in the UFC, and look what he's able to pull off. But blam! Look at that wild spinning elbow from, from holding on to the leg, lets go of it, and spins with an elbow that just drops. Look at Joe Silva's face. <laughs> <laughs> what? I wish I could see that same angle again. I want to see Joe Silva's face again. <laughs> What a beautiful technique, and there's a knee. If we can see that elbow one more time, I just want to see Joe Silva's face. <laughs> Thousand punch with Roger. Get in there and jab. Jab right straight, Stefan. He's looking like Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. Here it is. Watch the elbow. Ba blam Wait, Bonner Joe, just dropped. Look at Joe Silva. Oh, my goodness. I think he might be just a, Man. a little bit of a fan of the sport, that too. Is what, and you know what? Jones had looked for a second there like he thought that Stefan Bonner was out. He gave Bonner just a few seconds to recover, and that's all Bonner needed. But outstanding first round for John Jones. All right, round two to bring it on. Come on. Second round. Let's see what Bonner tries to switch up. Definitely taking the center of the octagon quickly. T and again. If I had a guess, I would say Bonner is going to try to turn this fight into a stand-up war. Yeah, and it may be more bit of a brawl, hey? Try to try to not get into the technical fighting that Jones has been able to utilize so far. And that's what nice we saw in the fight, the John, body. with Forrest Griffin. It became a stand-up war. Oh, look at that. Leg trip, and immediately Jones jumps on him. Hang on to, to, to his back. Stefan Bonner up to his feet. He's trying to break the hands. But the, the real problem is that John Jones is just... He's so good at controlling guys. Bonner has taken a few trips to Thailand to train. Once by himself, once with Mark Delagrati. Nice he's getting knee. picked apart here. Proposed to his fiance Andrea in Thailand. Just the physical gifts that Jones brings into this game of MMA. Almost remind you of Roy Jones. He, he doesn't have to be perfect with everything, Joe, because he is just so physically gifted. And again with the takedown. Well, it's what I said earlier in the pre-fight. When a guy is great at one thing, it's very easy for them to transfer that energy, that focus, and, and put it into another thing. For John Jones, it was being so great at Greco-Roman, being so great at wrestling, and now you see the spinning elbows and the kicks that he's throwing. He's using that same focus that let him be a, a wrestling champion and turn him into a martial arts champion. And just 21 years old. Yeah. 21 years old and all the time in the world. Oh, just like that. Just like that. Slide the elbow. I'm big. Push him over. Just about at the midway point of Look, this fight. Again. 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 The elbow back. John Watch Jones it. is in. He's in Stefan Bonner's Watch half guard here, but he's controlling this situation. It doesn't seem like, you know, Bonner's. Bonner's made a couple attempts to, to move his hips and try to get Jones off him, but it doesn't seem like he's getting any ground there. See, he's elevating his hips. He's trying to sweep and get back up to his feet, and he does. Good job by Stefan Bonner. Bonner with the body shot. 
John Jones 7-0, but that's a bit deceiving with his experience, Joe. Six of his fights came in two nights during tournaments. His other win, obviously the win in his UFC debut back in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis-St. Paul at the Target Center against Andre Guzman. Good body kick by John Jones. Honor changes stances. Jones has done a good job neutralizing the striking game of Bonner, and now they tie up. John Jones is breathing a little heavier, and he's slowed down a little bit in this round, Mike. Let's see if Stefan Bonner has the energy to take advantage of it. Good, good. Just like that. Perfect. Good, good elbow, by good left. Look at that. Tries a Wing Chun technique. Good uppercuts there by Stefan Bonner. Bonner trying to work the body now. He's keeping the pressure on Jones. See if he looks for a knee. There it is. Nice knee to the body. Got himself in position, but only threw one good uppercut answer by John Jones. Working the clinch game. Looking to come over the top of the elbows. Little switch. John Jones just looked up at the time. This is where Bonner's really got to pour it on. Oh, my goodness. How good was that? You know, he doesn't even give you a second. If you fall into a position where he can take you down, his explosiveness and his technique is... Just, uh, it's a thrill to watch. Final 10 seconds of the second round. I would have to say he's one of the best in MMA at that, Mike. I thought that in the Guzman fight. Look at this. He tried a, les uh, a scissor trip. And that, you know, that's the other thing I was talking about. Is this, this wild, unpredictable stuff. Talented and entertaining. Talented and entertaining indeed. Look at here's a nice elbow over the top by John Jones and a straight left right afterwards. And you know, you gotta think how well he's doing with the stand-up, and there's that beautiful throw. He's a Greco-Roman guy. I mean, that's 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 his background. But yet he's doing outstanding against a really good stand-up fighter in Stefan Bonner. Speed and your hands, your elbows and your knees. That push kick now is more important than ever, okay? Move to him in angles. All he's gonna do is throw and hold because he's behind. This guy's watch the water. Drink the water. Drink the water. Drink the water. You sure the elbow. Okay, you're not tired. Just fight. Let's go. Fight me in a step. Go. Bring the hell for him. Mauricio Shogun Hua coming up his win over Mark Coleman. Bonner. And Jones, right, last round. Bring it third up, and on. final round. Here we go. Good footwork. Good movement. Both men trying to use the tee. I'm, I'm surprised that Stefan Bonner's initiated a clinch because I would think that was the last place he would want to be with Jones. Jones is just so good at the tie-up, so good at throws. Good combinations here by Bonner. Bonner just turning it up, and that's what his corner said five minutes, give him hell. And, you know, they think that John Jones is tired, and I think they're right. Bonner coming underneath and over the top, a technique often trained with Mark Delagrati. Getting in the clinch underneath, over the top. We see Marcus Davis utilize it a lot. And now a knee. Yeah, Stefan Bonner's got to really turn it on now. If he wants to win this fight, he's got to do something convincing in this round. Really pour it on here. Superman punch. Good right hand by Bonner. Is Jones running out of gas a little bit? 
I would say definitely. But you know what? He was running out of gas in the last round. He yeah. still hit that beautiful throw with seconds to go in the fight. Or seconds to go in the round, rather. How much gas does Bonner have? I know he's trained very, 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 very diligently for this fight at Extreme Couture. Master Toddy using the Kevin Kern system for his conditioning that Kenny Florian has helped to make famous. Bonner is the one trying to push forward and initiate here in the third and final round. Takes a look at the clock. Three minutes remains in the fight. Bonner trying for a trip, winds up on his back. Wow. And that just shows you the wrestling of John Jones. He just shrugged that off like it was nothing. Gonna pop his head out. 220. Good position here for John Jones. You hear his corner saying own him right there. 31 year old against 21 year old. Go hold the shark, Kevin. Bonner trying to get up to his feet. Knees to the body by Jones. Can knee to the body, not to the head in this position. Bonner back to his feet. Couple of foot stomps, 145 on the clock. 15 month layoff for the American psycho, Stefan Bonner. Ninety seconds remains. Both men are exhausted. This is a grueling fight. <laughs> Stefan Bonner trying to pressure him. Absolutely. Less than a minute to go. And John Jones just looked up at the clock. 38 seconds. Bonner looking to find the energy to push forward. Bonner turning it up right now. Bonner stalking him. Jones may very well know he just needs to survive for another 25 seconds. He should be favored on the judges' scorecards. Probably in his mind, I'm sure. Especially when you are taking into account the number of successful takedowns that Jones has turned in. Jones has got a body lock on him again here. He's got... We are headed once again to the judges' scorecards. Stefan Bonner looked very disappointed at the end of that round. I think he thinks he lost the decision. Here is the wrestling technique, the skill in throws and takedowns that John Jones has. And here's a beautiful knee by Jones. 21 years old, second fight in the UFC, and uh, he may have just won a decision over a veteran. Quality win it would be indeed against... One of the two men involved in what truly is still considered the greatest fight, the most significant fight in mixed martial arts history. 607 back to his. I'll tell you what, you know, even if he doesn't win, even if he doesn't win the decision, John Jones has oh, a gigantic future. No question about it. Bruce Buffer. I believe he won the decision, but if he didn't, the sky's the limit for that kid. All right, guys. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Adelaide Bird scores at 30-27. Roy Silver scores at 29-28. And Cecil People scores the contest 29-28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Johnny Bones Jones! Truly, as Joe just said.